Hi and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to show this display item name on the transaction line as soon as you select the item on a sales order, on an opportunity, on an invoice. I'm not going to talk about how to print it because that's another topic, but I'm going to show you how you will be able to get this, let's say on a sales order or an opportunity, so that you will see this here item display name, so that when you click on accessories, for example, you'll give it a couple of seconds and you will see here accessory display name, because this is the actual display name of this uh, item. Okay. So if you want to have this on your transactions, what you'll need to do is you'll need to create a line level field. So a line level transaction field. To do this, you can either go to the transaction you want to create it on and go to customize and you can click on new column field. The alternative to this is to go to customization list records and fields and then you scroll down to transaction line fields and you click on new okay in both cases you're gonna end up in the same place which is here so it's gonna let's say it's gonna ask you to create uh, that field at line level so you're gonna have to give it a name put an id to it uh, keep the type as freeform text uh, what it applies to at the bottom, uh, if you want this field to also show on expenses or purchases or just sales of item, which means sales orders, invoices, credit memos, or opportunities, uh, or store items. So, yeah, you could decide where this field is going to show up. Uh, you could just leave it for opportunity if you just want the field to show in opportunity forms only. Now you can click on display and say that you want it to be uh, normal, insert before. You don't really need to set anything here. You can enter a help if you want, but you're not really going to be using this on the line. So leave this empty. Uh, within validation and defaulting, there's nothing to set here unless you want this to be mandatory. Uh, I don't think you'll want that here. Uh, in the sourcing and filtering, this is where it gets interesting. What you want to do is you want to source from the item list. So you're going to choose item here on the source list and then source from the display name. The field from that list is the display name. So we're saying we're looking at the item being selected on the transaction and we're looking at this field from the item record. Now, uh, if we save this, uh, don't forget to click on save and apply to forms you're going to be able to choose which form you want to um, you want to apply this field to uh, maybe you want to to show on all transaction forms like all opportunities or maybe just s specific ones so you can decide where you want these to show Okay, so you could decide, for example, that it only is supposed to show on, let's say, sales orders and not just any sales order, but very specific forms on the sales order. So I'm not going to save this because I already saved it before. But what you'll do is you'll go back to your sales order, pick your customer, and then you might not see the field here. Maybe it's going to be way down to the right and you want to move this like closer to the item itself. So to do that, you need to customize the form here. You customize the form. And within the form, you're going to see the list of sublist items that exist on NetSuite. I'm going to show you that right away. So if you scroll to sublist fields and then you scroll down all the way down to wherever your field is, you click on the field, you click on that little uh, dotted section on the left and you scroll it back up underneath this section. Just like I'm doing now, I can move it down. Well, you're going to want to move it all the way up under display item name. Then you can save this. And once you save this, you're going to be good. Meaning that once you go back to your sales order, provided that you're using the sales order with the right form, then you will be able to see the field. 
and as I just showed you uh, at the beginning of the video once you enter the item it's going to show you the items display name now if there's nothing in the display name of course it's not going to show anything so you're going to have to go to the item itself and put the right text value within the display name code I hope this video was helpful to you if so don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and see you on the next NetSuite video. Thank you and goodbye.